so we're going to review the note C. This will be low C. And you can see that it's here under the staff on a ledger line. That is low C, the lowest note on the recorder. And uh, I have the fingering chart right here, left hand on top, right hand on bottom. Okay, you have your thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, and then you switch hands and it's first finger, second finger, third finger, and the pinky. So if we look at it, it's thumb, one, two, three, and then on the right hand, it's one, two, three, and the pinky. Sounds like this. You must blow very softly. Okay, so try that now. Play with me. And that is low C. Okay, up one step from low C is low D. And it is just on the bottom of the staff. Here's the fingering chart. Almost the same as low C, except you'll see that the pinky is uncovered now. Okay? An empty circle means that the finger is not covering that hole. So, thumb, one, two, three, one, two, three, no pinky. And that's low D. Play it with me. And that's low D. Up one step, we have low E. Okay, you can see it's on the bottom line of the staff. The fingering chart is thumb, one, two, three on the left hand, one, two on the right hand. So that's thumb, one, two, three, one, two. Sounds like this. Okay, play that with me. Ready, breathe. That is low E. Next step up is low F. And so we have the fingering chart on this side. You can see that it's on the first space of the staff. Fingering chart is thumb, one, two, three, then one and three. So you skip a finger like this. Thumb, one, two, three, one and three. No pinky, no middle finger. Sounds like this. Okay, play that with me. And that is low F. The next note up is G. It sits on the second line up on the staff. Fingering chart is thumb one, two, three. On the left hand, nothing on the right hand. So only the left hand. The right hand, can, you can have your thumb here or hold it for balance, but don't cover any of the holes. So here's G. Play that with me. Ready, go. There's G. Next up is A, second space. Thumb, one, two. Thumb, one, two. Sounds like this. Play with me. Ready? Go. That's A. Next up is B. It sits on the middle line. Might be difficult to see because of the glare, but it's on the one, two, third line up. Fingering chart is thumb, first finger only, and nothing else. So thumb and the first finger only, nothing else, okay? Keep your right hand down here for balance. Sounds like this. Okay, play with me. Ready, go. That's B. One step above B is C. It's here on the one, two, third space up. Fingering chart is thumb and the middle finger of the left hand only. Nothing in the right hand. So you have thumb and the middle finger only. Sounds like this. Play that with me. Ready, go. 
Okay, next up is D, or high D, I should say. And this one is on the fourth line up. Fingering chart is only the second finger over here. Nothing else. Okay, so only the second finger, no thumb, nothing else is covered. Just hold it um, with your right hand for balance, and here's what D sounds like. You must blow very softly, otherwise D can get out of control very easily. If you play D too hard, it'll come out as an E flat. Listen as I play D, and if I blow too hard, once, once I start blowing too hard, you will hear that it changes pitch. So play softly so that the D comes out in the correct pitch. Our final note in, re in review is high E. It's fingered just like low E, but instead of the thumb being completely covered, it's only halfway covered, and it sits on the one, two, three, fourth space up. Okay. It sounds like this. Well, let me show you, first of all, how you halfway cover the hole. Like that. That's how you halfway cover the thumb hole. If I turn it to the side, you can still see that the hole is halfway covered. Then I have one, two, three on the top, one, two on the bottom, and high E sounds like this. Okay, play that with me. Ready, go. And that is high E.